Um, but yeah, as far as like um, the way that they're talking about you now, you know, it, it is fascinating to me. Um, because like a lot of people, when they find out you're going, I'm like, ah, but what did you tell him? I'm like, I didn't tell him anything. I said he should go on and experience it for himself. I, I didn't, I didn't want to bias you on you. But for you coming back from it, did you feel like it was overall a net positive for you going on the podcast? Yeah, for sure. I, Myron and I don't know what Fresh's name is. Do you know what Fresh's name is? Uh, Walter. Walter. Walter Weeks. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna call him Fresh. <laughs> Myron and Fresh um, were both super polite and super chill. Um, yes. The Myron guy was really cool. Um, I say that cautiously because i don't know if a video is gonna come out with him talking shit <laughs> but um he i regardless of what i think about like their views and everything that myron dude is like super dedicated to everything on that podcast like um, mm. i think i mentioned yesterday on stream like this guy i asked him afterwards because we all went out to eat and i was like do you have like a background in like audio video shit and he's like no i you know i worked for the dhs like did like you know busted like trafficking rings and shit but like when we were i because i remember sitting there watching as he was like going around he was like checking every single camera he was asking for like i need a prime lens for this i need a zoom lens for this like we need to move that for that we need to get the chairs out of the background we need to make sure they don't have a hat on because it's gonna block these people but, like he was going he like he seemed very 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 dedicated to walking around and getting everything so i have a lot of respect for him in terms of setting a shit up and to be fair they've done really well for themselves that podcast i don't even think is two years old um mm -hmm. so yeah you know even if i disagree also he was really respectful the entire time um yeah yeah, and Fresh was too, to be fair, on the show. It's not like Fresh was like talking a ton of shit or anything on the show. Well, a little bit, but not not much. But yeah, I, I, we disagree, obviously, on a lot of relationship-related stuff, but I, I respect him as a person, as a, as a man. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. I think um, I think as far as the professionalism goes in regards to like uh, the setup, like I was really impressed as well. I remember when going on, went on the set, like they took a lot of time to make sure all the audio visual, which is good. I, mm -hmm. I think one thing I always have an issue with whenever I'm working with people is is coming up and feeling everything is absolutely disorganized and nobody really cares. Yeah. And seeing people who care and put that much time, I think it, it goes a long way towards making the end product good. Yeah. For How sure. did you feel about uh, the cast members? Um, fresh, frit, fresh and fit, and Chris are like the girls. <laughs> Okay, well you can go with the dudes and then you can go with the ladies afterwards. Um, I don't I'm I don't I, I feel like for whew, okay, let me try to phrase this in the friendliest way possible. For like the high <laughs> IQ, super like off the wall shit, um, I think that's obviously where Myron I think excels. That seems to be like what he enjoys doing. So that back and forth with him is cool. Fresh seems like a friendly dude. It doesn't seem like that's as much his wheelhouse. Like he's not mm. there to have like the high powered fucking debating on that shit. Um so yeah, so the fit guy was really cool. Fresh guy seemed okay. Um, I thought Sneeko, Sneeko I think is a, I have a lot of respect for that dude. Um, I think he's a little misguided, but like I think he's pretty socially aware. A lot of my uh, subreddit was like laughing at him saying, and I think even in the Fresh and Fit subreddit, like, oh, Sneeko shut the fuck up the whole time because he was intimidated. Blah. I think Sneeko had been on that show three times in a row and he saw that like me and Myron were gonna go back and forth a lot. So he just like chilled. I think it's really difficult for a guy, especially like him, to be able to just like chill for a moment and not constantly have to be the center of attention. So I think I think he was doing that intentionally. I had a lot of respect for that. Um, mm. And then, yeah, the girls were, holy yikes, dude. Jesus Christ. That was a... Yeah. Sneak is also a young man. I think he is too. He's 24. 24, yeah. 24. And you mm -hmm. trying to talk to grown women and they can smell that you're young. They just don't care what you mm -hmm. talk, to be honest. That's one thing. That's one thing that's very real. It's like, as a young man, you try to talk to older women and they look at you like, bro, you ain't, you're 23. Like, what are you even talking about? No well, one's trying to get into this. Yeah, maybe for some older men. I don't know about for the Miami people. I think it just comes down to your, <laughs> whether you verified on Instagram or whatever. I think it's a little different. Uh, but, or you got money. Or you yeah, got money. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. But no, yeah, so in general, I get it. Yeah. So what happened? All right. Bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.